I S U P K. America's gonna be sad to find out that they've been destroying and oppressing the children of God, man. That's right. The real Jews. That's right. It's gonna be a sad day when y'all see what they call in the Bible the strange salvation, man. That's right. When you see a black man come back on the so called UFOs and you see him beaming up black, Hispanic, and Native American men, you gonna be, you'll know then that day, oh my goodness, them crazy niggas on the corner was right. right. They was right. It's too late then. It's too late then. Prepare slaughter for their children, man. And that's justice. It sounds harsh, but the life we live is harsh, man. That's right. Listen, I'm gonna sound even harsher. Y'all y'all crying for them little white babies. He said prepare slaughter for their children. Give me Psalms 137, 8 and 9. I'm gonna go here a little bit more. Everybody's saying, how could this be in the Bible? God got to be unjust. No, God is very just. That's right. And I'm gonna show you why, man. The American government has been killing children for centuries. Right has been killing children for centuries, brother. That's how they built this damn empire. Slaughtering children. Psalms 137, 137. Slaughtering children. Right now on the border, they got Hispanic kids on, in cages. And if that ain't enough, they take the parents and the women who are pregnant, they're killing the babies. And then forcing them to get sterilized. Sounds familiar, right? For all those of you who say Hispanics ain't black people, huh? why ain't the white men forcing Chinese immigrants to get sterilized so we can have less, less Chinamen in Chinatown? Even with Corona, they ain't sterilizing no damn Asian. Why ain't, why ain't the white men trying to sterilize some Arab after all the damn terrorism? All the bombs going off anywhere, the Boston bombing, 9-11? They don't never turn that, the tip of that gun to them other nations. But they have Hispanic women, they're forcing them to be sterilized against their will, lying to them, calling it a whole other thing. They don't call it hysterectomy or sterilization. They call it, another, call it what? Tubular, tubular elongation or tubular ligation. Some old nonsense like that. This is why God said prepare slaughter for their children. Then you have that governor down there in Virginia, that old rat bastard Democrats. You Democrats are sick and disgusted. You're all bunch of pieces of fungus. You all need to get eradicated from the whole earth because you passed legislation that destroyed black people. And you ride black people's back every goddamn year, every election year. You ride us like a horse in the race. And once you get in, you leave us to die. That old, de that old Democrat down there in Virginia, Ralph Northam, he's trying to pass a bill that allows a woman to have the baby full term. You take the baby away, keep it alive for two or three days, and then when the mother speaks to the doctors and counselors, she can decide to abort, quote unquote, the baby after three days of birth. And you telling me the white man ain't the devil? The white man is the goddamn devil the Bible That's speaks right. of. You the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. You're a monster. You're a cancer. You're a demon in human flesh. Right. You're vile. Right. You're a goddamn deviant. And God needs to bathe the streets of America in your blood. Yes, because sir. you're wicked. You're too goddamn wicked. You race of goddamn white people. And you don't want nobody to talk about it. I done told you. A mask ain't gonna stop this. That's right. A mask gonna protect you from corona, but it ain't gonna save you from God. That's right. Let God bathe the streets of America in the blood of the white man. That's you right. goddamn devils. You never like to talk about what you do, but you always highlight 
what black people do, what Hispanic people do, what native Indian people do. What about all the goddamn killing you do? Or murder and rape you do? You white people are the goddamn devil. And God said prepare slaughter for your children. Because your children growing up learning lies. I'm going to tell you who your goddamn daddy is. You always laugh at us and make jokes about black people don't got no daddy. I'm going to tell you about your daddy, you little white woman. Your little white boy. Your father was a murderer. And a rapist. And a thief. And a pedophile. So God said prepare slaughter for you. You little white boys and white girls. Not by our hands, but by his hands. That's right. Let's see what else God said to do. Read. Psalms 137. Verse 8, O daughter of Babylon, O what? O daughter of Babylon, O what? O daughter of Babylon, O daughter of Babylon. Babylon was what? The empire of the earth. Today, America is Babylon. Confusion. That's the root word of Babylon, Babel. To be confused. And America is pure confusion. Land of the free and home of the brave. But Hispanics ain't free to come across the border on their own land. That's confusion. Land of the free and home of the brave. You a damn cop with a whole Batman belt of tools. Batons, tasers, they shoot something out now that wrap around your foot like a damn horse lasso. And you pull the gun every time to shoot black men. And when they ask you why, I was in fear of my life. Well, this is not the home of the brave. Then you a goddamn coward. If you're that, if you're that scared, go to be a damn mailman. Go, for, go flip burgers if you're that goddamn scared. But it's not the home of the brave. It's not the home of the free. If it was the home, record it good. Make sure you record it in HD. I want 4K Ultra. Set it worldwide. Come on, take another picture. The white man is the devil. That's right. And the white woman. That's right. Send it everywhere. Read it, read it. X Street, X Street, read all about it. The white man is the devil. The white man is the devil. See all the seven o'clock news. You remember them days? We going back right there. That's right. Read again. Verse eight. O daughter of Babylon, uh -huh. who ought to be destroyed? Who what? Who ought to be destroyed? Who what? Who ought to be destroyed? The Bible said Babylon must be destroyed. That's right. America today is spiritually Babylon. This place got to be destroyed. Right. This place got to go. It got to go for all the murder and rape and theft and crimes it's done against black people, Hispanics and native Indians. This place got to go. By, your, by America's own history, this place got to go. Didn't you drop bombs on, on the Middle East after Osama bin Laden threatened your two buildings? Your precious two skyscrapers, 3,000 people, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. You want me to feel sorry for 9-11, but you tell me get over slavery. When you get over two towers, I'll get over slavery. Right. As soon as you get over 9-11, as soon as no more, every September 11th, I got to see planes flying in a building, people crying, the fire, the damn fire, fire marshals running through New York. As soon as that stops, I'm going to stop talking about slavery. You tell us to forget our past, but you never forget yours. This place got to be destroyed. Go ahead. Happy shall he be. Happy shall what? Happy shall he be. That will ward of thee as thou hast served us. Read it one more time. Happy shall he be. That will ward of thee as thou hast served us. Black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man. You know why we so angry today? You know why we so angry today? It ain't, it ain't our poverty even though that's a good reason. That's a symptom of it. We are so, we are so unhappy today because we don't get justice in America. We don't get justice. We got to watch our people die and put ice on it. We gotta go bury our loved ones and just say, you know, well, well, we try. No justice, no peace. While they get to go drop bombs on countries and get justice for when somebody killed one of theirs. They went and killed Osama bin Laden, murdered him in front of his goddamn wife. And white people celebrated. They said, good, we got him. We got him! But when one of yours kill one of ours, you make us look like the criminal. You make us look like we deserve it. Happy shall he be. Read it again. Go to go. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be when the Lord said he's going to reward you 
as you have rewarded us. White man, what you fail to realize is you are not the power on the earth. You think you're the power. That's why you walk past so proud. That's why you go and you talk about black people the way you talk about them. I watched some old Fox anchor a couple years ago said LeBron James should just shut up and dribble because he's stupid and unintelligent. Let me tell you something. A day gonna come when you're gonna lose your tongue for talking about black people the way you do. That's right. Because we served you. We fought in your militaries. We shine your goddamn shoes. We suckle your little ugly big-headed babies. Right. Your little ugly big-headed rat babies. Our women suckle them bastards. And you talk about us derogatory. God gonna cut your goddamn tongue out, man. God gonna make you pay for what you did to black people. It's unjust. We did nothing to you but love you. We loved you till you were the greatest empire on the face of the earth. Who messing with America today, huh? Any, nobody. But it's because of black people, Hispanics and Native Indians. Without us, you would not have an empire. Without us, there would be no NBA, no MLB. There would be no, no, no Olympics. There would be nobody going to the moon. You wouldn't have DC if it wasn't for a black man named Benjamin Banneker, who specifically designed DC so you could get lost in it. So it would be a fortress for war. But you turn around and act like we are strain on, on your society. White man, you are strain on the earth. Everybody fear coronavirus? What about Caucasian 19, huh? What about the Caucasoid 19? What about, what about, what about Corona white man? who's killed more than any other virus on the earth. The white man is the only cancer on the earth that affects everybody. Wherever he go, he affects everybody. Wherever he go is homosexuality, pedophilia, and drug addiction. Wherever he go is mass poverty, mass incarceration. How dare you take little Hispanic babies and put them in a cage on the border, in the heat, in the cold, give them foil blankets, and then you want to talk about you just? White man, you are unjust. You're a wicked person. You are the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. Read. Verse 9. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. Brother, that's like a good shot of scotch. I'll read it again. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. The Bible said, happy shall he be. When you take their little ones and dash them against the stones. And black people, I know majority of us grew up Christian, and you hear that and you think, no, that's evil. That's wicked. How could God say to take their babies by the heels and dash their heads against the stones? Have you ever heard of Andrew Jackson? Huh? Or you haven't, but you're spending $20 bills every day. That's the man on the $20 bill, Andrew Jackson. Action Jackson. When he was a military general, before he became a U.S. president, he took the native Indians on the trail of tears. And a native Indian woman that would slow the lines down, he would take their babies and mash their heads against the trees so they would die, so the woman could walk up faster. The Bible says they got to suffer that. That's justice. That's equality. You want to be equal to the white man, that's what it's going to cost. But we ain't ready for that, though. We don't care about that, though. Our children on the border right now dying. Dying in the border, in the detention centers. And you want to talk about equality and justice? Let God bathe the streets of America in the blood of the white man. That's right. Let, it, let him flood this place up to the horse's bridles. You deserve that, white man. This is something you earned. You work for this. You put in good work for this one. And you are going to get it. Read it again. Verse 9. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. That's in the Bible. You thought the Bible was all love and kisses, right? Nah, the Bible is justice for black people. That's right. I ain't going to no Supreme Court for no justice. Right. I ain't going to, to appeal to no senator for no goddamn justice. They could be bought. They could be bought. I'm going to God, because God said he is going to punish the white man. God said the white man is the devil. God said the Jews are black and we are his people. How dare America treat us the way they treat us? How dare America lock us up the way they lock us up? 
How dare America then put their foots on our necks the way they do when the Arab, the Chinese, the East Indian, the African all hate the white man and have killed him in the past, have murdered him. They don't do to them what they do to us. You mean to tell me till this day, one cop has not murdered an Arab because of 9-11? Not one cop has said, my father fought for this country. And now you in here, blow, leak your brains. But every month we got to read about some brother getting murdered by some coward cop who feared for his life. You go through how much months of, heat of a police academy training. You're learning how to shoot, you're learning how to fight, how to subdue, to tase, to put handcuffs. And you chose to murder us. You are a goddamn devil. Yes, that's right. And God needs to put you to death where you stand. Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.